They never tell us on the news what we want to know about Greece. What we really want to know about Greece is, does this economic disaster mean it is more or less expensive to go on holiday to Greece? That's all we want to know. <laughs> That's all we want. What is the cost of two weeks half boarding Corfu? The British people deserve an answer. <laughs> We're always being told what the British people deserve. You look at my friends' Facebook pages are just them moaning about life and what they deserve. Their Facebook pages, mad day, got up, got the kids to school, did the washing, did the shopping, went to work, picked the kids up, did the dinner, sitting on the couch drinking red wine. I deserve this. <laughs> no, I always think, no, you don't, actually, no. If you live OK in Britain, you live one of the most privileged lives in the world. The people who deserve a good old moan on Facebook are people trying to bring up Families in war-torn sub-Saharan Africa. They deserve Facebook, don't they? Yeah? Mad, mad day. Had to walk ten miles to fetch clean water. Got turned back by the militia. Lost a child to malaria on the way home. Sitting in my tent drinking rainwater. I deserve this. <laughs> And then, and then you get the needy Facebook status, the cry for help one. You've heard this, I've got friends who literally have said, I feel like crying, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> and everyone piles in. What do you mean? You're a lovely person. Um, <laughs> and this friend of mine literally wrote, I just feel so sad today. <laughs> in the Middle East, people are writing things on Facebook like, I feel like crying. What's wrong? I've just been tear gassed. Proper shit. <laughs> yes. People are tweeting, I've just been shot, sad face, you know. <laughs> All OFD, that means rolling on the floor dying. You know, proper <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we use Facebook and Twitter for rubbish. We, we, the, you ever seen those sanctimonious little poems and quotes people put on Facebook to make you feel better about life? They drive me mad. I've got, I've got one here, honestly, I've got, well, I've got two. I printed out. This first one is always put on by women, by the way. I'm, I'm not being sexist there, because I, I was sort of raised by women. I was. I... Can you tell? I, don't... <laughs> I never had that older brother figure who beat me up. I had two older sisters who, who dressed me up. Um... <laughs> no, I was raised by women. Sounds like I was raised by wolves, doesn't it? I was, I was found running with a wild hen knight in Newcastle. Um... <laughs> But this first quote, always put on by women. You will recognise it, some of you. Friends are angels. <laughs> who lift us to our feet when our wings have trouble remembering how to fly. <laughs> Do you know what? Us men, we may be emotionally constipated. <laughs> but I'm damn proud we don't put shit like that on Facebook. <laughs> I'm bloody proud. This second quote, this, one, this one's put on by everybody. This is a long one. Lots of you will recognise this one. I've had this one about four times. Life is short. Break the rules. Forgive quickly. Kiss slowly. Love truly. Laugh uncontrollably. And never regret anything that made you smile. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines. Sail away from the safe harbour. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore. Dream. Discover. Do you know what? I've got a mortgage to pay, bills to deal with, kids to bring up. I don't have time for this crap on my Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs>